In the north of Syria, the Turkish armed forces and the factions backed by Ankara are attempting to move and are being punished. This is the case in Greater Idlib, where a Turkish army convoy was struck by an improvised explosive device, IED, as it was passing on a road between the towns of Albara and Eshim in the southern part of Idlib. Saryat Ansar Abu Bakar as Sadiq, a newly founded Al Qaeda linked group with unknown origins, claimed responsibility for the attack. The IED attack was in response to insults to Muslim women in Afrin and Aleppo. Meanwhile, in Afrin, the Turkish Ministry of National Defense announced that two of its soldiers were killed. The Afrin Liberation Forces, ALF, claimed responsibility for the attack. The group also released a video showing the two Turkish soldiers being targeted with an anti-tank guided missile during a well-planned ambush in the village of Gobale. In response, the Turkish army shelled positions held by Kurdish forces in the town of Tel Rafiat and its outskirts. Three Kurdish fighters were killed. In Aleppo, the Turkish proxies are not without success. The Syrian National Army, SNA, shot down an armed drone that was flying over the Turkish-occupied northern part of the countryside. The drone was a locally modified copy of the commercially available XUAV Mini Talon, used by Kurdish groups.